This video is brought to you thanks to Squarespace. Squarespace is the virtual home of my website, my art portfolio, and online shop. You can present your work with Squarespace professional portfolio designs with beautiful customizable galleries and automatic image scaling to showcase your artwork in the best way. Connect your art portfolio and online shop with just one click. Thanks to their marketing tools and their on-point analytics, this platform helps you optimize your business while having a beautiful online presence. If you're ready to showcase your latest projects, make sure to head to squarespace.com to try them for free. And once you're ready to launch, use the code CAROARÉVALO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. When fall was starting, Eva and I spent a few days at our favorite tiny cabin in the woods. We came here to tap into our own art, each going into our own world, but at the same time keeping each other company. This video is a bit of how I spent a few days painting and chilling in the forest, connecting to myself next to my partner and witnessing him doing the same. I keep a sketchbook where I paint and share visual poems with myself, poems of what is happening through me internally, my inner journey, which is usually unspoken, but felt very deeply. Painting for the sake of painting without interruptions becomes a sacred reciprocal relationship with the art supplies, source, and myself. It invites me to a state of flying, floating, flowing, and feeling. It grounds me back into my truth. And I feel so grateful for the medicine painting is for me. Painting invites me to not only make a lot of introspection, but it also somehow makes me feel more united to everything inside and outside of me. It gives me a lot of joy of being alive today and I'm sharing this with you because I feel that painting is a gateway for everyone, not only for those who want to make art their career and that's why I'm always opening up the invitation to anyone I meet, saying hey if you have any art supplies around you I invite you to just play play with them. I feel it is such a beautiful language that is available to each and every single one of us. Being a full-time artist and also being someone who can very easily go back into survival mode mentality, it can become easy for me to start painting only with an objective in mind, so I always make an effort to check in with myself daily. I 
I love having a part of me which is very structured and acknowledges the importance of working daily and giving myself schedules and knowing the importance of strategy and paying attention to the opportunities. As all of these is a big chunk of why I am here where I am today. But I also know deeply that this wouldn't be worthy if the other part of me wouldn't be connected to the flow state, to the surrendering, to the magic of playing and painting. Another part of me needs to feel the freedom to bathe with nature's magic, to get lost in the different art mediums, in the shapes that my hand intuitively want to play with today. A part of me needs to be able to fly in the stars and in the dance of life without worries. So giving myself time to really connect to why it is that I love doing this in the first place is oh so important and healing for me.
The more I go to nature or to places like this magical tiny cabin, I realize that this is very lovely and it makes it so easy for me to connect with it all. But it is also a great reminder that I can feel these feelings of harmonization in between structure and flow or absorbing and creating or receiving lessons and blessings from pretty much anywhere. I don't need to be in this magical tiny cabin in order to feel that. From anywhere, I can be reminded that the work lands in my mind, in my heart, in my soul, and in my health, not only where I am today. And just like the Little Prince book says, no se ve bien más que con el corazón, lo esencial es invisible a los ojos. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. And I know this may sound a little counterintuitive being a visual artist, right? But for me, this lands as another invitation to go deeper and deeper into why I love painting or hiking in nature or foraging mushrooms or making love. I've been listening to this song by East Forest every day called Sit Around the Fire, which sums it up for me in the best way. The song is a combination of East Forest magical music and the wisdom of Ram Das. The song is full of gems, but what has been touching me deeply lately is that, as they say in the song, the real work you have to do is in the privacy of your own heart. All the external forms are lovely, but the real work it lies in your own inner connection. So the biggest lesson I am taking from this song is how each external form, practice or being a loved one, a practice that connects us to a source like painting or yoga, can all remind me of the essence we carry within ourselves and all these external allies are all just little angels that remind us of who we truly are, beyond our human bodies, beyond if we are using watercolors or gouache. How is everything in the external a way to connect to the unity of all of our hearts? Our light can sometimes get very dim and little, sometimes even weak, and we can become very tired. But there's this little flame inside of us, and I believe in the importance of practices, humans, rivers, plants, or fungi who can help us bring that fire back to life.
how are you bringing your own inner fire back to life today daily How are you a source of inspiration to ignite that fire within the people, the cats, the fungi, and the communities you love? Today, I am feeling a lot about how we can all help each other remember how to dance and create a little more in this life. And on that note, I will leave you to fly and create on your own. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you're doing well. And I thank you once again for being here. I will connect with you in another video sometime soon. Bye.